Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Chrysalis Nine Light Small Crystal Pendant. This is the 131140. This uh, this is the smaller of the two sizes, and I have the glass for the larger one here to show you what the glass is like. But remember, this is going to be talking about the smaller version. Let's get into the height of the fixture body itself: 8.8 .8 inches high. Diameter is coming in at 20.5, so it's a pretty good size overall height. Now we're talking about the distance from the bottom of the fixture to the actual ceiling. It's going to give you a range. There's a pull down menu which says choose your length and that's going to give you the two options there. The shortest one's going to be 12 inches to 80 inches overall height from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture. Second one is going to be 12 inches to 130 inches. If you need yours to be longer than 130 inches, drop me a quick email. Say you're looking at the 131140. Tell me what you need. Tell me you need 240 inches or 190 inches or whatever. I'm going to take your email, send it through Hubberton Forge's customs department. It'll come back with an answer how we can help you. Adds a little time and money, but we do customs every day. It's not a big deal, and it's free to ask, so don't forget about that. Canopy on the ceiling is coming in at 20.5. Lots to talk about in that canopy, but before we talk about the canopy, I just want to show you the glass really quick. And remember, this is the glass from the larger size, so the other one's going to be smaller than this, but it does give you the opportunity to check out how beautiful this glass is. So, Hubberton Forge, they source their glass from the best glass blowers all over the world. Everything's hand blown. You can see these beautiful facets. This is crystal, hand-blown crystal. And then what they do later on is they come back and they're going to give you two options on that pull-down menu. So you see one of them is going to be matte black. The other one is going to be this one, which is matte white. And what they do is they basically take that cut crystal, dip it in molten glass, that matte glass, come back, and then basically grind and polish away all the facets, just like you would do if you're doing a diamond. Really, really beautiful. So. There you go. This always has, always has an embedded retaining ring on the top. This is threaded on the inside. It's going to go over your socket. And it's always going to be in this silver color, something you should know too. The other thing, uh, well, don't forget, this is the larger size. We're talking about the smaller size. Watch the video on the other ones too, so you get a chance to check that out too. And we'll put this guy aside. Oh, the other thing is this is very substantial glass. You know, it's not, not lightweight at all. It's very heavy. Well, the whole fixture is 40, point, 40 pounds, 0.2. But collectively, you know, um, individually on their own, they're pretty substantial pieces. So you might want to just stick it on your coffee table for a while and just admire how beautiful it is because it, it is a really great piece of sculpture just on its own. Okay, let's get into a couple other things. Let's get into that canopy I touched on a second ago. I said it was 20 inches, 20.5 inches diameter. It's about that thick. It's holding a transformer that's going to transform your line voltage into low voltage so it can safely go down those cables. I want to show you more information about that canopy and how we're going to do it is we're going to look at the installation's instructions. So if you're on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, look over on that side of the screen. Midway down you're going to see a link that's going to say click here for installations, instructions, PDF. Open that up for me. It's going to show you a full parts list. It's going to show you how to put it all together, which is super simple. It's also going to show you detailed drawings of the inside of that canopy and how it goes on your four inch junction box. So take advantage of those drawings if you can and it's good for you to be able to see them before you do all this. And you can show, send them to your installer too. Simple to put this together, but it's a nice way for them to see what they have coming. Okay, moving on. It's slope ceiling adaptable to 45 degrees. If you are using this on a slope ceiling, you can give me a call and I'll walk you through that part of the equation. It's very easy. Other thing about that canopy, you see the pull-down menu says choose your finish. So that part of that finish equation on this is going to be the face plate, which is the flat plate, the round flat plate on the bottom facing down. That's going to be in that finish that you chose. The sides of the can, that's the part that touches the ceiling, is always going to be in black. And what's on the bottom of that, you'll notice those cables go into something called grippers. And grippers do what they sound like. They grip. So during your installation, you're pushing them in. If you need to back them out during your installation, you can use your thumbnail, push in to those grippers, and they'll unlock, and you can kind of slowly pull those cables down. Those little gripper things are always going to be in kind of a, a nickel-plated uh, finish, so remember that. Okay, moving on. Let we, let's talk about what's going on inside of these. Remember, you have nine of these lights, so you're going to be, want to put this on a dimmer, but we'll talk about that in a sec. You're going to be using only LEDs in this, no halogen. So, and you're only going to be using 4 watt LEDs, which are the equivalent of a 40 watt halogen. So that's a lot of light, and you have nine of these. So the best way to look, look for these things, they're called G4s. It's a G4 socket, which is a little round socket. It has little holes in it that accept the two little prongs coming out of the bulb. The 4 watt LEDs come in different types, and they kind of look different, but they do the same job. You can see some of them popping up next to me. 
Where we find ours is on Amazon, but you can go to other places too. You could try a True Value Hardware Store or an Ace Hardware Store. You could try uh, 1001bulbs.com or justbulbs.com or bulbs.com. All those things you'll find these, but Amazon to, to us was the easiest way to go. And I put in G4 4 watt LED, and that's all I needed to do to begin with, and it'll bring up a lot of things for you to look at. And in these videos, we always talk about color temperature of light coming out of these LEDs. 2700 or 2700 K is super super yellow that's going to be kind of like a setting sun they're also going to offer this light to you the bulb to you in war I'm sorry uh, what's it called daylight daylight sounds warm doesn't it it's not warm it's 4000 5000 6000 Kelvin on the Kelvin scale and that's going to be like a bluish white light like an overcast day or a hospital waiting room what we like to use in our showroom all the time is called warm white this is warm white coming out of a warm white 3000 Kelvin LED and it has a nice glow of an incandescent bulb I grew up with so I kind of like that and like I said before it's a dimmable fixture you really want to get a dimmer uh, on this and you also want to get dimmable LEDs so when you're looking online just make sure it has that word dimmable on it very very important and the other thing is talk to your installer because you want to make sure they know that you're going to be using dimmable LEDs because they need to buy the correct dimmer for your wall Let's get into finishes now. If you're, if you're on the handmadeinvermont.com website, look over on this side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a tab. It's going to say uh, Finishes Help Guide. Click on that for me. That, there's going to be a video on there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardson Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be talking about a chart a little farther down on the page. You'll see it next to me here. It's going to kind of go over the differences between heavy forging and non-heavy forging and it'll be talked about in that video so it's really important that you kind of watch the video use the chart you can click on that chart on different things so you can click on dark smoke and a big page will pop up and show you lots of different things in dark smoke click on burnished steel or, or uh, natural iron it'll do the same thing but it's really important that you understand how Hubbard's Forges finishes are kind of divided into translucent and opaque and how they can look on different on different fixtures. Uh, our showroom in Vermont has over, th well, we're up to 400 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a what's on display page. It's way up there in those red tabs again. So click on that and you can see what we have to show you. That changes all the time because we're always adding things as they come out. Showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. We have an amazing clearance center here too. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinue things, and showroom samples. If you were coming to visit us, bring a good sized vehicle, something like a big SUV or maybe a small truck or something like that, because you might find something in the clearance center that you want to take home, and it's a lot of fun to go through. 75% off MSRP is an amazing bargain, so you should really take advantage of it if you can. Like I said, we're open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time. You can call us at 802-446-2400 during business hours. You can email us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all the time. We love to answer emails. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont, and we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No one else even comes close to that. Some larger items are non-returnable. We'll always tell you about that. It'll be in the description thing that part of the description underneath uh, on the very bottom. So keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> we also offer a rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. They don't stock anything. That's how you're going to get all your finishes, your adjustable ranges to play with, all those things. We can cut that time in half and it's super inexpensive. If you want to know more, drop a quick email and I can I'll walk you through the whole thing, okay? So if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Love to see you in our showroom sometime and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.